highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. Hurstville, a suburb of Sydney, is situated 16 kilometres south of the CBD. The first inhabitants were the indigenous people of the Eora tribe. The first land grant in the area was made to John Townsend in 1808. In 1812, Townsend sold his land to Simeon Lord. The area became known as Lord's Forest. In 1843, a road built from the dam at Cooks River to the area became known as Forest Road. The early settlers were farmers, woodcutters and charcoal burners. In 1850, Lord's Forest Estate was purchased by Michael Gannon and subdivided into farms. The name Gannon's Forest was also used for the area. The Church of England built a wooden structure to be used as a church and schoolhouse in 1856, the original St George's Church. Adjacent to the church was a graveyard. In 1857, the Blue Post Hotel was licensed. Gannon's Forest Post Office was established in 1864. A public school opened in 1876. The name of Hurstfield was suggested by the school inspector Mr. W. M. McIntyre. In 1880, Gannon Grove was built by Alfred Gannon. The house in Croydon Road was demolished in the 1930s. The opening of the railway station in 1884, named Hurstville after the school, led to an increase in population and land sales in the area. The Wesleyans built a church school. In 1885, the building of St Michael's Roman Catholic Church began on land donated by Michael Gannon 30 years earlier. The Hurstville Municipality was incorporated in 1887. The Blue Post Hotel was the polling place for the first election. In 1888, the Centennial Bakery opened. After restoration in 1993, it became a museum operated by Hurstville Historical Society. The museum moved to McMahon Street in 2004 and became the St George Regional Museum. In 1889, a new post office was built in a more central location. St George's Church of England built a more substantial building. In 1890, the Presbyterians held fundraising events for building a church. By 1892, a church building had been completed. Twelve months later, it was severely damaged in a storm. Gladwin was built in 1893 by John Sproul, a successful builder. Its first tenant was George Brown, a timber merchant. Sproul built Yarramundi in 1897 and lived there until 1904. In 1981, the house was acquired by Dane Bank Church of England Girls' School. In 2003, it was sold and adapted for commercial use. In 1898, a fire station opened on the corner of McMahon and Dora Streets. Land was acquired for Hurstville Park. A new Wesleyan church was built in 1903, replacing the 1884 building. In 1905, the graveyard at St George's Church closed. The headstones were removed in 1964. A two-storey shopping precinct of four shops was built opposite the station in 1907. Bert Jolly occupied one of these shops. The Church of Christ began meeting in a local hall in 1907. In 1909, a new St Michael's Church was opened. Hurstville Picture Palace was opened in 1910 on the corner of Cross Street and Crofts Avenue. The Hurstville Propeller... A free local paper for Hurstville and District was published from 1911 till 1954. The Hurstville and District Friendly Society was established in 1911. A registered chemist was employed to dispense prescriptions. In 1915, a building containing a dispensary with a meeting room above and accommodation for the dispenser at the rear was erected in McMahon Street. A new fire station opened in 1912. A chancel was added to St George's Church of England in 1916. A Salvation Army citadel was built in 1919. 
Their outreach program in the area had commenced in 1899. Over the years, the building has been renovated and extended. A train crash at Hurstville Station in 1920 killed five people and injured 50. Charles Barter's department store opened in 1921. A new store was built next to Hurstville Station in 1926. In 1957, an elevator was installed, the first one in a Hurstville retail establishment. A memorial square was established in 1922 to honour people who served in the First World War. It also served as a taxi rank for train passengers. Today, surrounded by garden beds and palm trees. A large fire destroyed Messrs Walters, Middleton and Eads timber mill and joinery in 1923. A new Presbyterian church was built. In 1924, two ex-army nurses, Edith Yeeman and Eleanor Mann, established Goshen Private Hospital. It became Hurstville Cooperative Community Hospital, today Hurstville Private Hospital. A junior technical high school opened in 1928, becoming Hurstville Boys High School. Today, George's River College, Hurstville Boys Campus. Kenilworth was built in 1929 by Dr Crackenthorpe as a residence and surgery. It was also used as a clubhouse by the St George District Rugby Union Football Club from 1962 till 1978. Today, the St George Regional Museum is located there. An arcade was opened beneath Bert Jolly's department store on Forest Road in 1930. It was the first arcade of its kind in suburban Sydney. The success of Jolly's arcade allowed him to retire in 1937 after selling his building and arcade of 24 shops to Woolworths. The foundation stone of the Baptist Church was laid in 1934. A compulsory acquisition order by the council was enacted in 2017. Post-war migrants settled in the suburb. In the 1960s, these were joined by a number of Chinese. Between 1949 and 1952, Victory House was constructed for the St George Businessman's Club. In 1955, a new St Giles Presbyterian War Memorial Church. Sydney Technical High School, previously situated in Ultimo and Albion Street, moved to Hurstville in 1956. In 1965, the Super Centre above the station opened. Westfield Shopping Centre opened in 1978, a joint venture between the Council and Westfield. It was redeveloped and extended in 1990 and 2015. Hurstville was declared a city in 1988. In 2016, Hurstville City Council and Cogra City Council merged to form George's River Council. St Michael's Church, with additions and alterations, was blessed in 2000. Attached to the church are St Mary's Star of the Sea Primary School and Bethany College. Miles Franklin, author of My Brilliant Career, lived and worked in the Hurstville area. A statue to commemorate this was erected in 2003. In 2007, Hurstville Super Centre underwent redevelopment. It was completed the following year and renamed Hurstville Central. In the 2016 census, 49% of Hurstville's population claimed Chinese ancestry. Today, Hurstville is a multicultural community. Commercial and high-rise residential buildings dominate the skyline, but groups of significant heritage buildings and houses still exist. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com.